Hello again. Today I'm going to tie a Mackay for you. Um, it's a, quite an old pattern. Clyde Collier's um, the originator of this fly, but I think even he would say the credit should go to Bill Goodale, who used to tie them on long shank heads. And the hook I've put into the vise is a Hayabusa 761 size 10. And I'm going to deviate from the original pattern slightly um, because I haven't got all the materials and I find that the red thread's better than the the tan brown thread that Clive used to use, but that's a personal preference. So the first thing to do is cast onto the hook. Take away my pig's tail. And I'm going to come as far back as the barb. Uh, the tail is just black marabou. I'm going to take a generous pinch. the marabou. Just dress up to the hook. I'm going to take away my excess. Just slip the ends of the feathers just so that I can make it easier to tie them on. Okay. Again, I'm going to bring my thread back all the way back to the barb, uh, and at this point, I'm just going to take away some of the excess of the tail by pinching the ends and pulling it. Now, orange twinkle goes through the tail of this fly. Uh, I've got a little bit here, uh, but I dare say any of the modern stuff would work just as well. I'm just locking that in and I'm going to bring the other strand down the other side into place. And I'll just trim these up now, like so. Next thing to go in is a gold rib. Uh, I'm going to use this stuff here. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, it's a roll of 200 meters that I just got from Hobbycraft. It was about a pound twenty. Uh, I've had it for years and it's, it's lasted really well. Put that into place. And then um, just come back. To there. Uh, the body of the fly is um, hair's ear. Um, I've used hair's ear mask and I've just mixed some light and dark dubbing together just simply like so. And I'm going to dub some on to the thread. Set up and start to lay it on. Uh, I'm going to leave quite a bit here for my thorax area because there's going to be quite a lot going on there. Uh, and at this point, I'm going to just bring my rib. the body lock that into place pull it out of the way I'm just going to come in with my dubbing brush just to tease out some of that hair mask 
there we go. Um, for the first set of wind buds, I'm going to tie in some glow bright number eight. Just going to fold that twice over three times. Like so. And then I can catch that in. If I bring it around the other side, just excuse my fingers for the moment. Round the back. And then I can simply trim away. excesses. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have a thorax cover. Now, I'm using dyed red pheasant tail. I think the original pattern calls for goose feathers or something similar. So I'm going to catch that in. Take it back where my orange thread finished off. Then I can snip the excess away there. Now I need a little bit more in my hair mask and that's just to cover my tying thread where I've tied in the orange. So over that comes like so. Next to come in should be some white floss. I don't have any white floss, so I'm going to use um, just a little bit of arrow wing in at the side here. And get the same effect. the breathers on that side. Carefully snip out the other side. Again, I'm going to have a little bit of my dubbing just to cover my thread wraps. Like so. Just squid it all up. Then I'm going to take my thorax cover over the top and catch that in. Now at this point if I'd measured out the pheasant tails properly I could have maybe had um, an underwing but I don't want that for this particular fly. So what I'm going to do is just keep my thread tight, remove this excess from the front and then I'm going to use my red thread just build a nice steady head again a couple of half hitches to finish off Then for the head, you can use the um, hard as nails, or as I'm doing, just a touch of varnish. Clean your eye out. I'll just run that through again. 
can see it's just puddled up a bit more. And there we go. And there you have um, nearly the original version of the Mackay. The only slight changes are probably the, the wing buds there are um, aero wing and the cap cover is um, a dyed red pheasant tail. Uh, and that will work as well as the, the original I would think. Thanks very much for watching.